Hello everyone, I am Samira, Assistant Professor, Department of English, MES College, Marambali. I would like to discuss the topic, the lyric and the odd, which is prescribed for third semester English UG students. Let me begin with the lyric. What is a lyric? A lyric is a song which is originated in Greek. The Greek songs were divided into two categories. The melic or lyric songs and the choric songs. The melic or lyric song was meant for a single person to sing with the accompaniment of a musical instrument called lyre. What is a lyre? A lyre is a stringed musical instrument. And the choric song was meant for collective singing accompanied by instrumental music. So, there are two types of songs in Greek. The melic or lyric song and the choric song. The lyric song was meant for solo singing, whereas the choric song was meant for collective singing. Let's look at some of the features of the lyric. The first important feature is the lyric expresses a single emotion or feeling. It is musical in nature, where the poet speaks about a particular emotion. As the poet speaks of emotion, it appeals more to the heart than to the intellect. We can identify three different parts for a lyric. The first part states the emotion. The second part expresses the ideas associated with the emotion. And the last part or the third part, the poet returns to his initial mood, the mood of reason. That's all about the lyric. It is a song that states a particular emotion and meant for a single person to sing and accompanied by a liar. Let's look at the second important type of poetry that is the ode. An ode is a serious and dignified composition. It is often in the form of an address. In an ode, the poet addresses directly to the being or object it treats of. Example, Shelley's Or to the West Wind. In Or to the West Wind, Shelley addresses directly to the West Wind. It has for its theme an important public event like a national celebration, death of a distinguished person or founding of a great university. We can identify two different types of or. The Dorian or Pindaric or is the first one. The Dorian or is so called from the district and dialect in which it arose. It is also called Pindaric because it is used by the Greek poet Pindar. We can identify three different parts for a Dorian ode. The strophe, antistrophe and the epode. During the strophe, the dancers make a turn from right to left. During antistrophe, they move from left to right and during epode, they stand still. The second type of ode is the Lesbian or Horatian ode. The Lesbian ode is named after the island of Lesbos. So, the name Lesbian is originated from the island named Lesbos. And it is also known as Horatian ode because it is used by the Roman poet Horace and Catullus. Actually, this Lesbian or Horatian ode is simpler in form than the Dorian or Pindaric code. So, ode is a poem that addresses someone or something and we can divide the ode into two categories. The Dorian or Pindaric ode and the Lesbian or Horatian ode. That's all about the ode. Thank you.